do the Dells show. All right, we're gonna try GameStop and then go to Target. Quick vlog, and then I got some packages at the crib to check out. Some real dope Funko Pops. We'll definitely check it out when we get to the house. Man, I just was too busy today. I had a lot of stuff to do, so I wasn't able to go and uh, check out all the stores. But I got a few people that looked out and got things coming my way. So we'll see a lot of Comic Con exclusives, like reviews in the future. Let's go inside this GameStop though. really wanted this one but the box is pretty big. Yeah. That sucks. Not ship that one very well. Damn. Do other stores have this? Yeah. Yeah, I can get you a list. This one's pretty cool. Looks like the closest and the one what else they got at GameStop and then we'll go over to oh they got the Green Goblin Peter Parker we're gonna go to Target after this there's a Wreck-It Ralph a new one Fun Bun so Chef and Kenny you got two different Grinches the Grinch and the Young Grinch more. I like the Green Goblin one. I think it's pretty cool with it. This one's pretty badass. This one. I like this one. We got Loki. This one's so dope. It's so stupid how they only have two out of three members in Blink 182. These are kind of cool. A little Freddy. Jason. All right, let's hit Target. We're at Target. Look at this mess right here. They got so much stuff. They got Power Rangers. Got cereal. I love Lucy and Friends, Knight Rider, Power Rangers, Rick and Morty stuff. It's the Batman vs. Penguin. It's kind of cool. You got this. I don't know. You got stink. It's pretty. Yeah, boxes are bad. I don't know. Yeah. Kind of want this, but the box is so bad. It's got some weight to it. Yeah. This is heavy compared to the other 10 inch ones. Mm -hmm. It's cool, but the box is roasted. Look at that. That's painful to see. Yeah, both of them are pretty bad. I don't know which one's more banged up. <laughs> this is, yeah, oh, the top of that was horrible. Yeah. I have a feeling you guys are gonna get more of these. We may. Yeah, the Pez. Bob Ross one is awesome. I kind of want it, but I don't know. Batman is cool too. They're all cool. Batman, we like with Batman. Oops. Friends. <laughs> all right, so we're back in the house. It was really a quick vlog. I just wanted to check out a couple of the stores, and um, I wasn't able to hit like the hot topics and the FYEs, unfortunately, but. I do have a bunch of friends of mine getting me stuff, and I really appreciate it. Shout out to everyone looking out. 
and um, I do have the exclusives from Game of Thrones coming my way from my dude franchise and I've got a few other things coming my way from some other guys I don't know if they really want to be shouted out or anything like that but um I did already show you guys Gearhead, which is one of the exclusives that released officially today. If you want to see a review, I'll put a pop-up somewhere on the screen, but you're basically seeing them right now. I have a bunch of pops that I did score that I've been looking for. First, we've got the Darth Vader Christmas Chase with the glow in the dark cane. Bang that thumbs up button if you want that review. I will be filming it really soon. I am super, super busy today, but I do want to do a video, and I want to just do a quick little bit of vlogging and everything, because I just would feel so crappy not put it out of vlog when it's the release of all these New York Comic Con Funko Pops. Now, this was one that I wanted so badly, and I finally got my hands on it. This is Stinkor. I finally got Stinkor. I will be doing a detailed review and the little sniffy sniff test. So be on the lookout for that. And I'm just so happy to get it. I did have to buy this from a reseller. And I did spend um, 30 bucks, But I don't think that's that big of a deal. 30 bucks for it. It costs 15 plus tax. Paid $30 shipped to me. Not bad at all. And then when I was out and about... I didn't film this, but um, last week I did get this and I left it in my friend's car and I'm finally getting it in hand now because I finally hooked back up with my homie and um, bomb, we got the Cuphead Chase right there. Check it out, man. Got the Cuphead Chase to go with King Dice over there. So I'm happy to have the set now. We've got Cuphead and we've got the King Chase. So that's my newest pickups. I did do detailed reviews on tons of other Funko Pops out of the box. I did the Venom Marvel Collector's Corpse one. And I got to say, man, a lot of people were dogging this movie. I did see it. And you know what? I don't blame them for Dog in the Movie. It, it really could have been so much better. It should have been rated R. I will talk more about the movie on my podcast over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. I will get into a full detailed review of the movie. Plus, we talk about all types of just fun stuff. So make sure to check out my podcast over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. I did review the Biggie Smalls Funko Pops, the Mariah Carey Funko Pops, the Holiday Groot Funko Pops. There's tons of new videos, so make sure to check out all of them. And if you're looking for them, I will put in the description box below a listing of a ton of Funko that I think you're probably going to want to pick up. So look, in the so look in the description box below, and I'll have a listing of a ton of Funko Pops that I think are definitely worth picking up. I love this Holiday Yoda. This one is pretty awesome. It'll definitely look fantastic with... Don't you agree? And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely leave your comments below. Let me know what Funko Pops you picked up today. I do have the Amazon exclusive Black Panther Funko Pop with the wig that comes off. That will be coming my way also. So make sure to subscribe. I'm going to do out-of-the-box reviews on tons of these exclusives. I'm just waiting for them all to come in in the mail. I have a lot of the exclusives that will be coming in. I definitely got to go out and hunt down that Korg the Comic-Con exclusive. I just, I can't buy it with rips in the box. If it got a little dent, that's okay. But when it's ripped, that just bothers me. It's too much. Let me know how you feel about boxes too, in general. Like, are you one of them people that the box has to be absolutely mint for you to buy it? Or you don't mind a little dent here and there? A lot of my pops, I end up taking out of the box. You see, they're just chilling out. But I mean, there's so many all over the walls, you know, and this ain't even close to all of them, you know? So, um, you know, I don't know how to display them. I'm planning on hopefully one day taking a lot of them out of the box like and displaying it in some cool way. We'll see how that goes down. But I'm just rambling. Everyone have a great weekend. Happy hunting. And one more time, look in the description box below. I'll have a list of a ton of Funko Pops I think you will definitely want to pick up. And I'll catch you guys maybe even tomorrow with a new video. We out. So happy he's back. Billy! DJ Dallas. DJ Dallas. And your Benjamin. <laughs> Prepare the battlefield! For massive, massive. That's right! Delete! Delete.
Delete! Delete! DJ Dells. Senior Benjamin, where's Vanguard 1? He's up there, watching more. He's always surveillance. Oh, surveillance? Yeah. For security, right? Security purposes? Thank God. Thank God for him. I prayed for him when he was hurt. I prayed every night. Well, he was drinking too much last night. I know. Oh, yeah? What were you drinking? Tequila? <laughs> Oh, yes, DJ Dells, absolutely wonderful. Yes. Senor Benjamin. Way to a battlefield massacre.